एक्स्ट्रा टाइम That you weren't able to bowl too much with the Duke while you're away, but you've got it in your hands the other day. Um, what did you make of it? And I suppose, yeah, what, what have been some of the conversations amongst the bowlers? Yeah, it's certainly a little bit different. It's, um, yeah, I guess darker. It's a little bit harder as well, and um, seems a little bit more narrow. So yeah, it's just trying to get used. To, I guess that that in the hands. Um, I guess our conversations have been a little bit around. I guess what the Duke ball can do. Uh, but whilst I guess being mindful of the fact that you know you don't want to go searching too much, um, and, you know, and trying to move the ball you know too much, and then getting you know, I guess caught caught on the bounce a little bit. So yeah, I, you know, I, I'm sure over the next few days we'll have a few more conversations around what that looks like, and um, yeah, and then go from there. Yeah, I suppose in that respect, how lucky are you to have the likes of Tim Southey, uh, Neil Wagner, even Doug Bracewell guys who've been here before. Yeah, look, I think that experience you know from the guys uh, you know like you said with Tim. Uh, Wags, Doug, um, you know, and even Henners as well, who's played a lot over here. You know, there's so much experience around, um, yeah, I guess, around English conditions and what the Duke's ball can do. So, yeah, look, I certainly something that I'll be, um, you know, trying to, let, I, yeah, I guess, lean on over the next, uh, yeah, next few weeks. Mm, you mentioned being fresh. How are you feeling? I think you've been able to do a fair bit of training over in the Maldives in terms of physically. So, how are you feeling on the eve of the England tour? Yeah, good. Yeah, it was certainly, um, yeah, a little bit different of a build-up towards the tour. Here uh, yeah, we had about 10 days, and it was actually a bit more like a mini camp than it was anything else you know we were sort of out each day doing some running or some circuit sort of stuff with Chris and yeah that was quite good I think in terms of just freshening up mentally and then um, you know but still trying to get your work done um, you know to lead into this so yeah nice to be here a bit earlier than what we probably expected and um, yeah to gear up for this tour. You're a bit of a student of the game does touring England sort of get your, get your foils going are you, is, are you into the kind of history of the game like that? Oh uh, I mean yes and no I think I'm probably not quite up the history is probably what some guys are but you know certainly uh, I guess respect for the fact of how much history there has been in the game and um, you know and especially in England so you know to be able to have a couple of games um, at Lords and at Edgebaston as well is yeah is pretty special you know um, I think Lords for every cricketer is a sort of bucket list item so you know to be able to tour here and um, I guess experience experience um, you know what it's like with, yeah uh, will be pretty special for me. What's the experience like of being standing right here and looking down right over the Jazz Bowl? Yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty cool. We um, get to see a fair bit of it from our hotel room as well. So, yeah, certainly uh, certainly not hiding from the pitch. But yeah, look, it's pretty cool. It's it's quite a unique, um, I guess, situation to be staying on site and um, you know, I you, you guess you just fully immerse yourself in what the what the tour is going to be like. And you know, yeah, it's pretty nice uh, nice short walk to training, which is always a uh, yeah. Always helpful. Nice one. And uh, can you give us a, is a can you do do your best reporter's uh, version for us? Can you just give us an idea who's been who's been in the nets today and what they've been able to do? I suppose first day out on grass. I think uh, I think your first guess would be Kane. Uh, Kane's in there a lot. Tommy Latham. Uh, yeah. So just most of the batters really. I think Roscoe as well. So all those sort of um, top five, top six sort of guys. Yeah. Obviously take up a bulk of the batting time. You know, and rightly so. So uh, yeah, they'll uh, they'll be out there for a wee while yet. And uh, yeah, and we'll try and. Try and catch him tomorrow. Yeah, and then just quickly on that uh, that warm up game, uh, mate against mate, you know, sort of state of origin feel about it. How, how much do the boys look forward to uh, taking on each other? Yeah, yeah, it's quite cool. So we get a bit of experience of it, um, you know, through the Super Smash last year, and uh, yeah, look, it'll be cool to cool to do that. Hopefully, I'm uh, on the right side of of that game, and um, yeah, eagerly awaiting the announcement of those teams to to see uh, to see who'll be rubbing each other. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.